The Naturalist Hour that I attended was led by Stephanie Mason, and I was just transfixed by her images and her stories, which showcased the biodiversity in Rock Creek Park. I love this slide because it just really reflects how diverse lichens can be. The telescope fish can hang vertically in the water column um, in order to spot prey species that pass above them. But the Naturalist Hour provides an opportunity for instructors to dive deeper in science topics that are related to the natural world. What makes a bird great? Among a lot of birders, it's something that's rare for the location. Um, that's what a lot of real serious birders will say, oh, that's a great bird. I'm honored to be part of the Naturalist Hour programs for the Audubon Naturalist Society, taking advantage of all the expertise in the greater Washington area, Smithsonian scientists, biologists, and conservationists, and planners. I thought, oh my gosh, who's that guy? And they said, he's the river keeper. I said, oh, what's that? Because I'd never heard of a river keeper. I had no idea what that was. People doing work to save rivers, and they were working with very low resources. But the point was, they were winning. And here's where I should bring up another topic, the difference between venomous and poisonous. This comes up all the time. Poison is something that you ingest or you breathe in or something like that. Venomous is something that's injected into you. And all but one family of spiders is venomous, but almost no spiders can really break our skin. I've been lucky enough to have been a presenter for several naturalist hours and it has some great things going for it. You've got great instructors, it's at a convenient time, or it's taped so you can always go back and look at it later on. I really appreciate that the Naturalist Hour program gave me space to talk about what I'm really passionate about, which is gatekeeping in the birding community. Uh, I really enjoy the fact that they let me not just do a birding 101 program, but that they let me focus on birding in urban spaces uh, and ensuring that birding and the birding community becomes a more welcoming environment. Uh, and works to accommodate a more diverse group of people. One of the things that really distinguishes the Naturalist Hours from other online lectures is that they are so well put together and so well moderated. The, the Naturalist Hour chat means you really get to participate like you would in a live class, which to me is what's a big distinction between the Naturalist Hour and a lot of other places that have tried to go online and, and done so much less effectively. Mm -hmm.